What is up, everybody? Sir Gamelight here, bringing you um, a quick little, well, not really quick, but bringing you a Moab on the map terminal in Modern Warfare 3 from another great YouTuber. Um, his link will be in the description, Tom Dog 1127 So go check him out. Thank you for letting me use the gameplay. So I'm gonna bring you a video on kind of like my rankings of the Call of Duties and the comparing the games and so to do this um like I'll rate them all on the maps the guns the perks the kill streaks like their evolutionism to the Call of Duty franchise um and kind of like bonus points and then I'll total them all up out of 30 points and I'll show you the winners and so five will be the worst well, five will be the best that you can get, and one will be the worst that you can get. So let's get started with the maps. Um, for the worst Call of Duty maps, I kind of thought it was Call of Duty 4 because, you know, they were kind of oversaturated and you couldn't really, um, like it wasn't really meant for long distance things. It was only really meant for close quarters, and I didn't really like that. And then Rolled Up War. I put as second, like, it would get two points, because, you know, they were alright, but it just wasn't the best. Modern Warfare 2 got three, um, because it was just kind of, like, average, you know. Then Modern Warfare 3 got four, because of, kind of, like, the variety and all that it had. And Black Ops got five, and I did this because you could pretty much use any kind of gun on any given map and you'd still do pretty good and I like that about it and it had a lot of variety of the maps so on the guns and attachments um, and all that stuff that has to do with guns um, Call of Duty 4 once again got last place because well there just wasn't really a variety I mean there were only like one or two guns that people used and then Modern Warfare 2 got second because of noob tubes pretty much well, I got like second to last. World at War got three points because of it just um, it had like a nice variety, and there are like one or two guns that people used in every single slot, so that was kind of good. And Modern Warfare Three got um, not Modern Black Ops got the uh, four points because pretty much in every um, in every like kind of like in every part of like the assault rifles, submachine guns, etc. In every one of those, you had pretty much a good, um, like a, you could have a lot of variety with what you could choose from because there were a lot of them and they all kind of were the same, in my opinion. And Modern Warfare 3, I, I gave it five points for the guns and stuff because. They were all pretty much balanced, except for like the one or two, but overall Modern Warfare 3 had the best in my opinion. So on to perks, um, World at War only got one point because the perks were horrible. Call of Duty 4 got two points, uh, they were alright, you know. Black Ops got three, um, it wasn't that great. Um, Modern Warfare 3 got four. And Modern Warfare 2 got 5 for the perks, because Modern Warfare 2 is just awesome like that. So for killstreaks, Call of Duty 4 got 1 because they were horrible. World at War got 2 because you couldn't customize them. Black Ops got 4 because there was a variety. And Modern Warfare 3 got 5 because there's so many like different things you could do. So for evolutionism, Call of Duty 4 got 1 because it just wasn't good. Modern Warfare 3 got 2 because it pretty much just copied everything off of all the recent Modern Warfares. Black Ops got four because it had a lot of stuff that was from like World at War, but it was also pretty good. Um, and then World at War, I gave it five points because it was just sweet. <laughs> I mean, it had a lot of new stuff. And then bonus points, Call of Duty 4 gets one bonus point because it was horrible. World at War got two because, you know, it's kind of a classic, but it's not really fun. Modern Warfare 3 gets three extra bonus points because you know it's not the best game but it's still kind of fun black ops got four bonus points because um... it's still fun and then Modern Warfare 2 got five bonus points because it's 
pretty much the best out there. So totals as he gets the Moab. Um, totals. Call of Duty 4 gets last place because well, Call of Duty 4 gets a total of seven points for last place. Uh, World at War gets second place with 15 points. Modern Warfare 2 gets 21 points with third place. Modern Warfare 3 gets 23 points with fourth place, and Black Ops gets 24 points with first place. So thanks, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.